Just come along by Witch Doctor Cabin out there. Just out through them skirt of woods out there. I don't have a trap there. Uh, it's like never sees no sign. But here, this little place here, la, it's like a little strip of woods. Got my first trap. First thing, la. Martin walking on the little lip. Been a, might have snowed last night or the day before, but nobody hit me, lad. Light snow in the road. Martin. <coughs> first trap, good, right to the box. So what you want to see? Just sat my fourth trap on old Juniper. Donald used to always talk about that old place. Guaranteed, you see. <coughs> not to Juniper, not to Mitch Nappy yet. Just not far enough to come out on the lake. There, yeah, far enough. Martin's on the other side of the road there too. Good old place there, took a few out there, you know. Yeah, uh, not too far now, you're gonna be out to the bottom of Mission Happy Brook there. So, this only has four traps as far as here. Crosses the mist then and takes back into the woods over there, so starts setting again. Good looking place. Old Juniper. Mission Happy out there. The brook. Over here, back of them trees, the, the brook runs kind of to the southern. Miss here now. From there to Witch Doctor, I have four traps. Always but interesting up here now. When he takes in, climbs up our little bank. Always good place. Almost like every time, have a mark. Would be, would be strange if no sign there. That's why I just took the video just then from right there. I said. Up on top of the bank, probably strange if there come be no side, just a little bank there. La. He jumps in over and right on the left hand side, up top there, I have trap. Ah, oh, we sign, but here, la, not even to the bank yet. In the mish, la, right, right in the mish. Martin, right out in the mish. I bet it was probably go circle and come be right to the, might be to the box. So we'll see now. No, nope. just tell the trap, though, he never come up here, but uh, almost kind of looks like it. Over in the road there, I might have crossed there. That's a real good place there, boy. Fuck, took out a few there. Uh, just, the, just the bank there drops down over here where I seen it in the mish. Getting, clearing up, like, like dull in here all day. Supposed to be just sunshine today, but different out in here. But kind of, kind of mild in here and like, not really sharp, not the air partridge, white partridge track all in the road. Just up here now is a mish and that's where they come from witch doctor and then they turns off go go say hunting you could kind of see like no you can see it from here but like white you see go see like white lumps kind of yeah in there lah, like coming to them lumps in there that's you know, see the white hill kind of like that's where they start hunting and like goes all go, <coughs> go silly yeah pretty good life eh out like this Right. This whole place here, just the more lumps like you boys would take off to go go slick back there, but just kind of lumps up partridge sign all in the willows here. Fair don't even want to see partridge kind of must be busy at the traps. This whole place there, la. Don't look like much of it. All those scattered woods, but boy, I get a few Martin there. Uh, I'll just go walk back here kind of quick. Just back here la Martin right there la Martin cross la and trap over here yeah, don't look like much of it all scattered trees and then but just up here and they're gonna get in tech woods then good good lot kind of long ways like that and uh always here by sign like cro usually across from across the drop there right? but right there this time there's a little snow here la I always if you kind of stand into this level, never used to see that. First time see that. Always all ice on this tree, boy. Like kind of like a wind, I guess, coming from the open. Eh? And always every year, got to scrape it off. Put the trap bait up there, piece of piece of turbot. You won't turn that down, brother. Okay. Either duck's head and turbot from the. 
tractor, but it's the summer there. All scrap stuff that's uh, damaged and stuff, so just take a bit. Rub on the trees, salted, salty turbot. A strong smell and soft, or you see, like the flesh kind of sticks on. Look. See it? Good place. I always get a martin here, a couple, usually a couple. Pond, this is my next trap. Martin sign, look. Box there. Yep, just in by that rock. That old rock there, signed there too. I don't know if it's the same one circle back here. But I just say into that pond there, where that mark, no sign to that good place, but like I think I'm going to be awful strange if none here. Always. That's good. Right to the box again. Getting pretty now. Sun's starting to shine. Ah, brand new. Uh, Far back here, this new there, big, big looking fella there. <clears throat> my box here, this, this my 11th trap setting now this morning. Well, dinner time now. Uh, here la, dusting it la, all or uh, my box in there. Look, yeah, this um, about 11 traps now. I would say about six or 11 Martin track right to the box. So I'm kind of thinking it's a bit little better sign than other years, but you know, never could tell. Eh? Good ways across now, 2.30 now. I'm not sure how many traps I got, that good many now though. Got about 12 left, I guess, not far to the cabin there now. I only gonna have enough if traps to go past the cabin so far, now we're at the camp on it, I don't think. Come here, no sign in the road, but good lot of sign by out, out there. Almost like a lot of places right to the box. Come in that strain, fucked strange, no sign here. Good low strip of woods, by always smart sign. And I was nothing around the skiddo, I walked in. Like a rabbit track all around out there, but walked in, look, Martin been come from in the back, come out and lush shit there. And like walk back again, la. Never come across the road with that no sign, but yeah, right to the box. Crooked Brook, I think, is the cause this. Now, far just a couple of kilometers up or the bank, they're down to the cabin. So, damn, fuck it. Hell of a place here, boy. I always, I'm like, pretty much can say every trip over you get a Martin here, eh? And what Juniper there, lad? And the brook there. Uh, yeah, all sign here, look. Lots of snow in it. Crap there, look. Yeah. So I'm to the cab, and they'll probably cut a bit of wood and get the fire going and just cross the big mish they call Just back of them trees is a big old road mish. The road kind of goes around and that way and takes in over there. Just coming, took in through here and Always a good place, but and low, just lost like low rock of woods out here. Small low junipers. <laughs> Martin side there, but he seen where he come around. I just chased it. He come like over there, then I turned back to the road. But I think come here too. A little dust in it, but uh, right to the box, uh, box there. Man, I'm gonna say like all the traps I saw today. I'd say not not even joking. Look, side. So like, here again too, la. it was newer, la. like older and new. Not even kidding, about 80% I'd say of like sat about 20 traps now, about like 15 of them at least, right to the box. So, good sign I call it. Shot trap 10 o'clock this morning, 6 o'clock there now. Almost out to uh, Witch Doctor. Uh, two more traps there, about on the, to the pond, to the cabin. Martin la soft yeah, getting a little stiff though like you know wasn't must have been right away I suppose and he's at like ten o'clock on the six o'clock now so heading home
daylight coming out to the eastern. It's a very night. Five nights on traps. Heading in uh, just pretty much ready to start the skidoo there now. Not so big load as last time. A few traps, 10 liters of gas, plenty. Can't have a slack sleigh. I see. Well, I got tarp shoved up there just to take space. Can't have the. Uh, you got a full of sleigh either way if you go with full load or little stuff. I had to put a bit of cardboard back here. Everything jumping around along around like that. Everything be beat, beat to pieces. Bag of clothes, old t-shirts and pants. Somebody th probably think you're crazy going in the country with that, but there's a reason for it. You'll see. Game bag. Yep, just about to shut the door and head on. Overcast, a bit of wind, mild. I got my coveralls on yet. Hold on my dicky new once before it leaves. Yeah, we'll head on there soon. Hopefully a good day. Just leaving Saltwater. Kippecock Bay, the head of the bay up there. Shut the cabins to up on the southern side there. And uh, just come from that way down to the rapids down there and just taking in the road here now to go through the burn woods into Morgan's Pond and to Jock Lake, that route. Not a draft of wind up here, a little broken sky, so hopefully it sees the sun a little bit today, not so blind driving. Yeah, it stop, always stops here for first stop for a little bit. Which Dr. Cavan, 10 to 9 there now, I'm half hour ahead last time. Kind of blinding from Jack's out towards Jock Lake. Sun shining over Micmac good, but kind of blinding from ja uh, Burnt Lake to here. But looking in where I'm going now, the blue sky into the southern. So just past this strip of woods here now, it comes to my first trap. So we get going again now. Oh. Third trap in here now that on that juniper where I said Donald always talked about a good place, a <laughs> whistle. Oh, three traps now, nothing yet. Only the same all sign though. Like, I mean, from where I, when I tailed out, the whistle. Yep, bait's still there. But just up here now, to the next trap, was where I had one the other night coming out. Just up over the bank there, uh, where I swear I seen it in the mist that time, and I said, strange if not, could be no sign on top of the bank. Nothing from. Uh, Mitch Nappy out to uh, uh, Witch Doctor. Look like Todd had a couple, two or three traps out there too. First Martin, look. Up on the bank. A good place, boy. Big old fella, look. Kind of pale, but uh, they say he's just the kind they're looking for now. That's a, that's a large, extra large for sure, Jesus. By the time he's tied and straightened out, he'd be over uh, 23 inches, I can tell you that. Pretty one. Well, one time you'd say this, ah, well, pale one, but geez, I think last I heard, this is the kind he wants. Nowadays, got not the trap, so that's good. So, first one in the box, good. Now, I was saying about the bag of clothes I brought this was for, wrap, roll Martins up into it, you know. Something soft between them, if you get a few. Bouncing around a few, but just lay them all on top of each other like that. Bouncing around, they no time at all, they'd be chewed up and shaved up. Up to the next trap, just next trap after I just took that one out. Not far, just not too far up there. Uh, another Martin, boy. Yep. Yeah. Let's see where he come from, just like you. Huh. Dog one too. Not the darkest, but darker than the other one. So the six traps checked, two Martin. Well, I'm not gonna complain about that. Good. 
Get rid of here now and put it in, in the box. Move on again. It's a good catch, a good kill, but he, the jaws are going right under his two arms, huh? So that one got to come out with the trap on. Damn, that's the worst. You got to replace the trap, and it's kind of awkward to roll them and pack them away with the trap. But you got to be kind of careful like that because you don't want the metal rubbing on another one. So I'll deal with he you now and put another trap back. With my ninth trap in, um, third Martin, so doing pretty good. It's only been five nights. Nice start, female for sure, small, young female probably. Maybe a young male, but for sure it's a young one or a female. Got around the neck, so it looks like I'll be all getting off. It's a real bonus when you can get them off, because I don't have to replace the trap. And uh, they're a lot easier to pack away into play. Little easy one. Win-win on that one. Easy to get out. It was a mild day today too, so it's uh you can if you got a little give to them so you can buckle if you got a foot or something jammed in the trap you can you can buckle uh usually you can give them they can buckle enough to get the trap off but you don't want to go too hard and break break a foot off or something. You made that mistake starting it. That was a quick one. A couple of minutes and good to go again. Well, I'm going to say a female. Probably a young female actually. Just for these little bags and uh, like I said, the uh, pajama pants and t-shirt, old st clothes and stuff comes in handy. Put in uh, we got three in here now, in layers, so like one is rolled up in here, another one in here, and it's just over, and this one, and I always have something a little bit on the bottom so they're not, you know, bouncing around, and this sleigh is good because the fish box gets in, and uh, you know, it can't, they can't slide, they can only, like a box in a box, so, you know, because that uh, really don't, don't seem like they can uh, hurt but oh uh, man, it don't take long. When they're, if, they, if they got play and they're bouncing around in the sleigh on the trail, or they're froze, there's like, you know, if they're rubbing on anything, it'll chafe the fur and then, you know, your pelt is damaged. So that was the reason for the big <laughs> spare shirts and cl old clothes and stuff. Comes in handy. Up to the next trap, another Martin. And uh, man, he was a. Uh, his track lot where he came in. A lot of wood, Ryan. I guess he was scratching at the tree for a bit. A big, good size Martin. I'd say a male. And again, he's caught on the neck, so hopefully I can get the trap off. Or he did some, some scratching at the tree, though. I suppose, uh, you know, while they're, while they're in the trap, they claw at the track at the tree pretty hard for a bit for a couple minutes I see his track there where he come over so yeah there's 10 traps checked and four martins so doing well Getting warm now it's supposed to be I think up to minus one or plus one or something today. Oh, it's only like not even 10 o'clock yet, so. So yeah, another nice one. It's a male for sure. Once his head straightens out, he'll be, you know. You can tell by the size for sure is a male. Another one packed away. Uh, <laughs> Might be my dress shirt from grade 12. <laughs> oh boy, I don't know. Anything like that, lot just to stop them from rubbing on each other. 
I'll repack the sleigh again when the traps is all checked. They got ten traps, so another another uh, eighteen more to need to check yet. So uh, I'll repack all that for the trip back. Right? Uh, I'm just doing it rough there now. Trail's a bit bumpy, so you want to make sure. Uh, even though you're just gonna repack them later, you want to make sure they're done so much for now, anyway. But I'll repack the sleigh proper for the trip back. Move on to the next. Just came onto a new sign there walking on the skidoo track. Came up uh, across down here and he come on the skidoo track and went in on my track there. Another one there, look. Woohoo! But that's the 12th. I just skipped, had it uh, past the trap there with nothing. So if, if I would have had one back there, it would have been three in a row. But, uh, so there was one back there with nothing in and so there I wonder if I can get new. Oh, he's not quite froze in the belly there. So he wasn't in a big one too. Just a male for sure. And uh see that? So I think I can maneuver that one to get out. So it's good out of there's five now and uh, I got the trap off of I'll get the trap off four. So Nice day now, sunset and shine. Jeez, it's like probably minus one. February 9th. You know, should be minus 30. But uh, working out for me, warm weather, getting some fur. Martins likes to travel, get out bumming around a lot when it's warmer. So, see his track there a lot where he came under too. Bait's still there, so there wasn't another one around. Past the trap there, the one I just done the video, and uh, I was expecting one there because uh, it was a really good sign there back and forth the other day. But it's just up right there, so I guess this one was pretty close. And nice, a nice dark one, uh. a little white on his toes. Uh. You see that every now and then. Bait still there, so there wasn't another one around. See that turbot I rubs on the tree, look. Uh. That sticks on when it's salted, the flesh. That gives a good, real good lure. The wind blowing past now and taking that on through the woods. Martin smelled that a long ways. Long time since I had one with a weight on his toe tips. Though. Pretty cool. Still got another one. Female, I think, right there. Yeah. I'll just stick this one in here on top of my dicky for now because a few more traps up here so instead of unlacing the sleigh you know I'll just just put them there for now to, uh, if I get another one then I'll pack two of them away yeah getting well across uh, probably a little over half of my traps checked seven martin so far five nights on the trap so man that's pretty good. Martin number eight. Says about at least ten traps left, so doing pretty good. Now this is a different style. These boxes with wire on them. When uh, you don't have a limb to tie onto, you could wire the top part of your spring into the box so that when you get the Martin, it stays stays right there. good way it's just uh i'd rather have them tied off to a limb so that they can hang out just for you know weasels or something comes up the tree they can't can't damage the fur but 
Haven't been having trouble like that for the last few years. There's a new place I tried. Right to the end of the strip of woods here before it takes the mish. Uh, I have one just around the, just up there, not very far. And there's what no sign there. But when I came out here to the end of the mish, it was back and forth right here. Track, so I uh, stuck a new one there, though, and sure enough, on the juniper there. The same soil as before. Wired in. Uh, it's still gotten tied off. It's gotten hooked onto the bait wire just to hold it hold the wire so it's not just hanging but the track can't fall down because it's wired in huh? but like I said we don't get the not get much trouble with mice and weasels in later years. I know like one time it was real bad uh, years ago. You know, a lot of fur got damaged from mice and that and you don't like you don't see that much anymore. You know talking to a lot of the older trappers and stuff too my family members there the old trappers that used to get years ago with leg holes and stuff we had a lot of trouble with mice eat too much grass you know? yeah just a closer look at what i was talking about a lot of so the top of the spring just the top part is wired onto the box and uh, you don't really need to tie your trap off then. You don't really have to have this on there. But I just put him up around the bait wire just to tuck him out of the way so he's not, you know, down dangling around. Piece of cod head boy. Done the trick there. Um, yeah, so you just make sure you put the wire only on the top. If you go around the spring, you know, the trap won't go off. But uh, it's a good way. Like I said, the... Uh, don't uh, really have much trouble with me weasels and mice. So that was a nice martin. That's number nine. A few more traps to check it. Got the trap off of uh, eight of nine martins today, so that's good. That's my lure there, la. Uh, Beaver Pride and Vaseline mixed together with a little bit of cooking alcohol, so don't freeze. It's just right from right here, I can smell it. So you know, now when that's. Uh, Santa Dad's floating through the floor of the, the woods, the floor of the woods, all through. Don't take long to uh, do the Martin in the air, really, but well, well, well. That was a mystery for a little while. The Martin. Uh, I just crossed the mist there from the other trap there where I said I shot a new one. Real good place here. Came in, took the trap, trap was gone. Right there, and the line all twisted up. So I got looking around, and like, see the line all twisted up, busted off. And uh, this Martin was caught, and what happened? He caught his front paw up around his throat at the same time. To, I guess he had his paw up around at the bait when the trap went off, and he went from here. I'm gonna take another video and it wants to chase the track with Skidoo, but he was flipping and going and you can see the tracks of the the trap in the snow, dragging and whatever. He went right up. After he busted off the line, he, he took the trap with him and then he went right up around in the bottom of that little cove there. Come back out around and right out on that point in the trees there, I found it under the trees dead. Curled up like a ball. The track there where you come in, look. Man, I didn't think I was going to come to him. I followed the track right around about 10 minutes. But it's good. I came to him. But it's just a unlucky catch. I guess his paw went up the same time as his, as his trap went off. And it went crossways across his chin and his body. And couldn't, uh, it wasn't right across his throat. Eh? So all you can do. It happens. But uh, anyway, he's there. Forgotten. So yeah, I'll take another video in a second just to run around here to show you where I walked. Got down reset with a different trap I couldn't get off. It was a savage old trap. They're smaller traps. They're still strong, but I guess it's just the way he was caught. But I tell you, there's a bell oil there. Strongest traps you can get. He won't he won't let down very far. Even if his paw went across, he wouldn't he wouldn't do nothing with it with, it, with them traps. So it's good as a Good trap back there now. So there's the back of it, I mean behind the tree with the skidoo now. 
right there, he got out and you see his track is there lower. He was I'm gonna try to drive one in and uh, show you. So he went all along uh, right here. Look, see the tracks where the track was flipping up and over in there. trees there he was bowled up there so, made a little ways there but uh, I found him anyhow 11.30 there now uh, another martin I only got two more traps now past the cabin there and heading towards camp on got a couple more traps I'm going a little further today and set a few more I had to uh, <laughs> fixing some bait the other day with them mitts on and uh, I left them there just for lure <laughs> So, uh, yeah, nice smart in there. Yep, geez, he wasn't in very long, though. Huh. You could skin him. I don't know, I don't say, I say he got in this morning. Or last night. Oh. It's proper soft. Yep. Starting to cloud over, the sun, uh, the bright sky is getting, I'm going south and it's getting further south, so. I guess the clouds is clouding over from the north. Yeah, I'll deal with you now and head on again and set a few more. Like I said, it's only 11.30. Proper soft, look. The most recent one to get in. See his track there, lad, where he was on the skidoo track. So, probably only last, like, maybe yesterday. I don't know. It's a chilly night, but it wasn't. Uh... Oh, yeah, I can see his track over there, too. Another one, boy. There's two in a the row there, just not too far. Well, do I have no trap in that one? Like scattered trees through there. But you can see the sign of this one come from over there, come around the mish. And uh, there's all sign there too, so I guess you see you come back. But there's uh, just, just one more trap up here now, and if I could have one there, boy, there'd be three in a row. Oh, well, 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 well. When that Martin out there. Uh, bust the line off and you know ran around there you, This first time I experienced that and man it happened again Trap is gone Bait still there uh, But I just I think I sees him well he So what, what happened this time is he would have broke the limb off because uh, That one was tied onto a limb Look where he was Jumping around all over the place here so, but I just walked here just now without the camera and uh, I think I seen him. See where he uh, came in there. But man, something going on with them traps or something. But, but, uh, uh, he went right down in the hole. <sighs> yeah, the limb broke off. La. I didn't find it. It's very sturdy. The other day when I sat and well he looks good just burrowed down in the snow and died he never lasts very long he only went kicking around there and he went under the tree so this time line busted just now and this time the limb broke off but uh, that was kind of my fault because that was the last trap I sat the other evening I wanted to get going I never tightened on to it you know, I should have wired it in like before. So it's good. Found it anyway. Got them all checked. End up with 14. Oh man, 28 traps, 14 Martin, that's good. So I'm going on a little further now. Instead of, you know, two or three more, that's it, because it's starting to snow and, you know, it's only been five nights. I just thought I'd come over and check them and, uh, push on a little further set a few more i'm eventually going to get them out 
right out to camp on another probably 10 12 kilometers from here maybe next trip i'll come for tonight well uh martin track right over to my next box next one over so you know there's a few around just shot my last trap for today i uh i went on past where i ended off last time and uh tailed seven more good little spot here too brand new sign there trap over there yeah, just repacking the Martins there now and uh, getting ready to head back. I'll have a cup of tea and bite to eat before I start driving back. I just uh, laid them all out there. I thought it was 14, but it's 13. If you're superstitious, it's not a very good number to end on, but I don't believe in that stuff. So, yeah, well, a very good day. Starting to snow a little bit, but nothing heavy. Yeah, well, that's, that's my first check and a few more traps out, so. Man, there's nothing wrong with that. 28 traps and 13 Martin. That's, the, that's, that's real good going. For in this way, eh? Yep. Anyways, I don't think I'll do any more videos now. I'll just be driving out, so. Just the last one to end off the trip. Yeah, hope you enjoyed it. Man. You can enjoy a cup of coffee and a cup of tea home to your kitchen table. But I tell you, you don't enjoy it as much as you enjoy it out like this. I don't anyway. Tastes ten times as good. Cheers to a good day.